displeased restore us again so what's going on is David and his band they lost in battle um, so of course because David understands uh, the kingdom and how to unlock it he's crying out to the Most High because this is again his Nahala this is his inheritance thou hast made the earth to tremble thou hast rented heal the breaches thereof for it is shaken so you know, after losing the battle, David's like, hey, I need you to heal our breaches so you can save us because, you know, our enemies in, in this case are more powerful than us because we'll all go through phases and in, in times in life to where we'll lose a battle. But we just got to keep the mindset that the battle is not the war. And if Yahuwah is with you, who can be against you? Thou hast shown thy people hard things. Thou hast made us to drink the wine of bewilderment or astonishment. Because, you know, they came in there thinking, you know, that Yahuwah was going to be with them and then they lost. So they're, they're astonished, you know, they're, they're probably a laughing stock at that point. Um, you know, people are probably talking crazy about them like, yeah, their Elohim or their God is not with them. And he says, thou hast given a banner to them that fear thee. That it may be displayed because of the truth, Selah. So he, he's given them a marker. Um, those that love him and keep his commandments. Those that cry out to them. Those that pray to him. Those are, that are quick to repent, that have a repentant heart. Because remember, uh, he is waiting and he's quick to forgive. He's waiting to forgive. He, he's waiting for us to humble ourselves and to seek his face. Thy, uh, that thy beloved ones may be delivered, Yahushua, is, is salvation. Save with thy right hand and answer me. Again, that's Yahushua, the Messiah. Elohim have spoken in his holiness. I will exult, I will divide Shechem, and meet out the valley of Sakoth. So this is what the Most High is uh, speaking and saying this is what he's going to do. Gilead is mine and Manasseh is mine and Ephraim is the strength of my head. Yehuda is my law giver. Moab is my wash pot. Upon Edom will I cast my sandal. Philistia shout aloud because of me. So Edom is going to be nothing to him. Who will bring me into the strong city? Who will lead me unto Edom? So when we're going through these trials and these situations, these circumstances, um, yeah, Edom was, was a literal or is a literal nation of people, but everyone has an Edom in their day, in their life. And sometimes you got to face Edom. Sometimes you got to face the bully. Sometimes you got to um, have more faith in the Most High and more trust in the Most High than you do the circumstances or the enemy that's coming against you. So again, who will bring me into the strong city? Who will lead me unto Edom? Will not thou, O Elohim? Because he's the one. But we still got to have enough faith to believe that he can do that, that he can give us that salvation, no matter what we're going through, whether it's spiritually, whether it's financially, whether it's physically, whether it's economically. Yahuwah is good and his mercy endureth forever. Will not thou, O Elohim, who did cast us off and didst not go forth, O Elohim, with our armies, give us help from trouble, for vain is man's deliverance. David's not looking to no man for deliverance. He's looking for Yahushua. He's looking for salvation. It's vanity to think that man can save us and save you from these uh, calamities that are coming because they're picking up. Just look. <laughs> 
you can feel it in the air. Through Elohim we shall do valiantly, and he that is, and he it is that will tread down our adversaries. Because even though you may do it, you're doing it in his stead. He makes a way out of no way. He's a way maker. He's a healer. He's a forgiver. Uh, he's a loving father. He's a he has a forgiving heart. We just have to have a repentant heart. We just got to open up our mouths and sing praises to the Most High and pray to Him. Seek His face. Turn from our wickedness. And watch things change. Watch um, a positive outcome manifest. This is our Nahala. We have to start understanding what our Nahala is. So, Father, we just want to say uh, thank you again for this day. Thank you for waking us up. We just want to ask for the forgiveness of our sins and the sins of our ancestors. Please create in those clean and contrite hearts, minds, and spirits, Father. And we ask for you to send Rafa. We ask for you to send healing, Father, throughout the land, throughout all your people, Father. We ask for you to forgive our sins and to heal our land, Father. Father, your word says to ask and you shall receive the seek and you shall find a knock and it shall be opened unto you, Father. Because we believe, Father, that with you all things are possible, Father. All power was given to you, who shall Masiach, Father, our Savior, Father. And again, we're just grateful and we're thankful, Father, for everything, Father. Thank you for forgiving our sins and the sins of our ancestors, Father. Thank you for your mercy, which endure forever, Abba Yah. All these things we do ask and pray. In Yahushua Masayak's name, Amen. So again, this was uh, Psalm 60 from a Psalm a day. This is Yehuda from Yah's Assembly. Salama.